aim right here as we enter the land of dawn. We'll have to see whether or not the teams can pull it off. We're going to see exactly what they're going to do with this. We know that from the drafts, Geek Fam is going to have a lot of kill pressure on those lanes because of the Natalia pickup. But Bigatron also have an answer to that. They do have the Ruby, but this will require the Ruby to be a little bit more active around the map when it comes down to it. We can already see that the Natalia was trying to pressure Max in that lane, and the Ruby is actually not going to go for cover. She actually focuses more on those aggressive plays. Yeah, trying to spot out the Natalia, right? Like Gani mentioned in the draft, that's why they picked up the Ruby. They want to stop the momentum from happening. They don't want to give Natalia the power to actually set the tempo of the game. Indeed, indeed. It seems like the composition-wise as well, it's quite balanced from side of Geek Fam early and as well as Elite. But Bigatron, they are leaning towards early game, say they are going for a snowball from the early game. We'll see what they can do with this, actually. Already a lot of emphasis to shut down the Irithel right now. You can see that that is going to be their priority, as now we're going to take a look at the talent's prediction by Axe. And it does seem it is going to be me alone here on the caster desk voting and vying for Geek's draft this time around. Welcome to the red side, Ghani, BTR. <laughs> Uh, I was the only one in game two, so finally it's, it's good to have a brother man. Beloisky though, right now caught in the midst of it all. Oh my goodness, four man gank with the recalls as well, Marky. <laughs> He's feeling it there. First Blood presented to you by the Samsung Galaxy A series. 300 gold lead early on. Have to wait and see here, folks. Three sprints from side of Geek Fam here. Perhaps they are trying to replicate the success in game one, but no. Take a look at this. I feel like, again, Marky needs to farm. DHS Golden Staff and he needs to rotate to his team immediately to help out his teammates deal damage. Because if not, perhaps it's gonna be a problem for Side of Bigatron. We'll see here. The first little contest. Max definitely has an advantage when it comes down to the turtle takes. He goes in, wins out the red tree battle. But Lucy caught again, falling down to the hands of Max, who's gonna be able to jump in onto Jana, picking up a double kill early on here. That wasn't a double kill though, it was mixed, right? Because Moreno got one of the kills as well. But BTR surely with a two for zero leading in the early stage. Dorizo jumps in with a knockout strike as well. On to Luke. Luke, whoa, he's going very aggressive here. What? He oh. finds the I'm offended. Max gets a second kill for himself. And Luke, very weird movements there. Basically, Bigatron winning it out in all those trades, except in that gold lane where we can see Kadera still able to bully him out. Yeah, you can see here, emblem-wise, it's again all standard. No, nothing really fancy, it seems like. But I do want to add this. Bigatron Alpha, as expected, they are going hard in the early game. Max already collecting two kills and two assists. That's huge. Geek Fam, they need to stay composed and maybe this is it. Enhanced Chain coming in with Beloisky, but that oh. I'm offended! Finds three members! He survives! An absolute what? disaster in game three! Three minutes in, 3,000 gold lead, and Geek Fam are on their signature picks. How did they, how did he get that I'm offended onto Gadara? He oh, wasn't that close. He, well, I, apparently he is that close. He was. He was, he was the key. timing, the timing, he was very key and he survives as well. So zero trades here, Geek Fam, they need to stay composed. They still have a chance in the mid game. Yeah, and right now, again, we mentioned it early on, Beloisky is not going to have that tempo to play with because of the Ruby. And it just shows, right? Third minute, we are seeing kind of a die from Beloisky. He's looking for another one right now. But again, he's not really able to find it. Marky will be able to stay here and key with the support. Chidera is not going to have room to play that aggressive as well. 3v2, 4v2. That's same here. Beloisky going to be able to jump in key with the stun as well. Marky with the blazing duet clearing out the ways as Elzura rotates down below. They're giving up a turret up top and a turtle wow. away to BTR. And they're committing. They're committing onto key. One member traded in for an orange buff, a turret, and a turtle. Geek Fam needs to find more. They will be able to convert onto the bottom side turret. But again, Bigatron Alpha win in this trade. Way more value for Bigatron Alpha, I have to agree with you. And that initial gold lead has now gone to 4,000. And look at the damage coming in from Sorizo. That's what? huge. That is huge. I mean, Bakito, as we all know, I mean, not even zero items. The damage is just too much here. So Bigatron Alpha. Five minutes and almost 5,000 oh gold lead. Oh my 
my god, he... Oh, he's in the zone right now. Gani, he knows it. And here in the bottom side, Ooh. Cerezo in a 2v1 goes over the knockout strike, unable to connect. Moreno trying to find Baloyski, oh. finds him in the bush. See you later, Baloyski is in. Taken down and even in the under the turret, Marky. The weak side laner here in this matchup up against an Natalia Irithel is able to find a kill on Chadera. Wow. 5.3k in five minutes. Holy crystal secured Whoa, oh my. for Karina in five minutes in. It's huge, right? No member from side of Geek Time will survive if Karina goes in. And to add to that, DHS already secured oh. as well. Oh, oh my god, Max. It's a mess. Want to stop? He jumps in onto Luke. How much damage does he have? We'll see it tested out here. Luke in the bush trying to bait it in. Max with the first ability, trying to cut away. Gets it mobilized. Jana looking for the play. Cerezo with a jab. Enhanced sword popped in, but it's actually knockout strike coming in from Cerezo. Able to connect onto Jana again. One more hit is all it takes. They finally find it right now as Max goes into the back lines. Boloyski spotted out. Luke taken down up top by Cerezo. And in the mid lane, Marky with the blazing duet. Able to out damage Elzura. Jumping on the BMI. Taken down by Boloyski. But look at Keys looking for a trade. Beloy is able to get the kill and bounce out, but tier two turret was taken in for that play. Okay, they stop, finally. There you go, they go for the turtle. <laughs> what was Elzura doing anyway? I mean, she hasn't even reached her power spike. She didn't have her ult as well, and she... Why did she face check? Over That's commit? Uh, it's just oversight coming in from Geek Fam all over. Blunders all over as well. And with that in mind, Bigatron Alpha, they're really pushing the tempo once again. They've received another particular turtle. And Geek Fam, yeah. they're starting to look very desperate, looking in for kills, looking in for plays that they can't even win. A tough game here from side of Geek Fam. The duo PH players from side of Geek Fam, Jana and Bloiski here, sitting at it four deaths. And that's seven minutes game time. Not a good lead. And take a look at that. Top three members that deal with the most damage in this game. It's from side of Vigitron. Max Moreno and as well as Sorizo. Three lane. They are winning. They are really controlling the tempo and game. Geek fam. It's really hard to find a winning condition for them. They just need to farm. At this point, they, are, they just need to farm. And Elzura's damage is below key as well. As, yeah, key. And that's not great, right? Yeah. I think, if I'm not mistaken, she does have the Clock of Destiny, but not yet the Lightning Truncheon. But even then, her damage output should still be above that. I guess she hasn't had, had the best time so far because of how things are going. And once again, Bigatron just exploiting that map control, taking everything that they can from Geek here in the third game. Wait. Wait, yeah, Janna is four levels below of Max right now. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Demon Slayer and as well as that just shows the domination here from side of Bigatron Alpha. And it seems like Geek Fam, they are really crumbling. Oh, oh Conceal Play. No, Chadera. Okay, Chadera spots it, but they're going to go for the purple buff. Janna, no, that's another purple buff that's taken away by BTR. I'm not giving it to Janna. Four levels below, not able to find farm. They're trying to go for the orange buff, but oh no, oh no, I don't know. Do they want to go for this? Jana and Beloy against Max right now. Max. Oh, he sensed it. He sensed that he walks away. Jana is still staying though. Marky is going to go for the orange buff. That's why he walked away. Beloyski and Jana QT. They're looking for it right now. Marky has spotted Jana. Dashes out, gives over the orange buff to Geek Fam, but in terms of pressure, it's still BTR winning. Bottom, mid, and top side with the wave cleared out. And now they're going to be setting up for the next objective in that board, the first Lord of the game. And it doesn't look like Geek Fam is in the capacity to contain it because Sorizo is actually going to be taken down. And that's their compensation, I suppose, from the side of Geek Fam. Five levels difference here for the junglers. Max jumps in onto the tank, the frontliner of Geek Fam, almost taking him down with one combo. Gani, Geek Fam need to farm. Yes, they need to get into that late game. But at this point, how? BTR are freezing the waves, getting the Lord, and playing it super slow. It's it's clear that Bigatron Alpha, they are now in control of the tempo, in control of the map. And Geek Fam, it's, they are, I don't know, the first three minutes was a mess for them. And so perhaps their job is just harder now, but nothing much they can do. Bot side. 
Chorizo not having a good time getting ganked, but he's still surviving. Belojski's taking low. Moreno trying to look for Beloy again, but he just finds Janna. He doesn't even go for Janna here. He just goes back to the mid lane over to the purple buff, taking it again away from Janna as they pop the conceal mark. He goes in with Lazy Duet, dealing so much damage with the with an atrium as well. A bit of damage coming in. Key with the I'm Offended Flicker wasn't able to find anyone, but they're looking for a siege in the mid lane. Chidera popping in that sprint, and Geek Fam are able to survive the siege. Beloisky jumps in onto two members. What? He's gonna get taken down by Moreno. Whoa, Beloisky with a very aggressive, aggressive play. He found Marky there, but again, this is gonna be BTR collapsing once again onto the turret, finding loot with no front line there. Chadera's gonna fall next onto the hands of Max, but no, Chadera's able to get the shutdown. Slowly but surely, Geek Fam are taking the gold lead back. I think perhaps that was what he's trying to go for. He's going to go in for the 1v1 trade himself, a roamer for a gold laner. And in the end, it is going to be worth it for Geek Fam. That's going to be his play. And Marky needs to be able to consider this. That's what they need. And Lilia here building more of a um, utility, of course. Enchanted Talisman, Ice Queen one, and to add to that, adding the burning effect in that glowing one. So when during team fights, during skirmishes, he is able to just slow down their opponents. Oh, take a look at this. Not just yet here, no commitments, but Claude. Almost full items. DHS, of course, and Golden Staff. Wind of Nature, he is moving on towards Malefic Roar next. So, expect a lot of damage from this guy. And I feel like, even though they are still behind, but Geek Fam slowly but surely catching up as well. Julian, Genius One secured, concentrated energy, and as well as Father of Heaven. So. I feel like damage-wise, he is ready. And of course, Irithel. Almost full items as well. So Geek Fam, slowly but surely, they are getting there item-wise. But space is what they're lacking. To be honest, I felt like that could have ended very differently if he got the I'm Offended onto Kadira. Oh. We can see Beloisky here trying to go for a play, trying to run at the stage. Oh, Beloisky going to be caught again. Marky finds the first ability, but look at the Lord. This is what Beloisky wants to do. We saw this in M3 and we're seeing it again here. Beloisky will fall, but look at the Lord again. In terms of the HP bar, the Lord is taking low. Geek Fam can go for the secure. So Rizzo trying to come back right now. Janna is on the Lord. Max goes oh, in and he steals oh. it away from Geek Fam. Max. The miracle play that Beloisky enabled does not happen for Geek. Max finds it in the midst of it all. Oh my god, that was... Oh, that was such a beautiful play by Bigatron, and they're not stopping there. They're gonna take Elzura down, Beloisky is not on the table, and they have what it takes here now to win game number three. So beautiful by Max, and you can always rely on this man's retribution to turn things back into their favor. What initially was 6,000, now at 8,000 gold lead. This guy is just so reliable. His timing, his presence is just too intimidating, intimidating perhaps from inside of Geek Fam. And now with this Lord push, they, if Geek Fam makes a mistake, they can end. We'll have to wait and see, folks. We'll see with a dive and pick potential BTR have. They're gonna go for the top side base turret taken down. Beloisky, very good job onto the mid wave, trying to delay it here from crashing into the mid lane. Chadera trying to clear a key, jumping in. Chadera gonna get knocked up and stunned up for the team to take. Max picks up the kill, enhanced Lord dealt with, but look at Sorizo, goes up the knockout strike onto Elzura right as he pops out from the brilliance. And now, Falling Steinwood comes in, finding five, but the damage coming in. It's another Maxniac. It's a savage four! No, it's not! Marky again! He's the one stealing it from Max! But Max, living up to the name, Maxniak. Maxniak. Max I mean, attack. at this stage, we shouldn't be surprised. How many times has he pulled the same thing over and over, being the X Factor for his team? If Max performs, his team goes places, and it's synergized so well with how effective Key was on the Ruby. And at the end, with every of that combined, Geek Fam didn't stand a chance whatsoever, despite the efforts coming in from Beloisky. It was a stomp. It was a stomp here from inside of Bigatron. They 